will begin by showing you that the chamber is empty. And from this point of view, I can clearly tell. Maybe a little dirty also. So I'll have to work on that. But the chamber isn't what I'm here to show you. That trigger is. I don't know if y'all can see. We got the G. Got a Geisley. Which Geisley do we have? The G2S or the Geisley 2 stage. So let's uh let's see how she pulls. <laughs> no weight at all, just falls back to the wall. And then, oh, you hit the wall, you know you've hit the wall, but it's got, it's got no resistance when you're there. And the reset. Oh, that's positive. You're, but you are almost all the way forward after the reset. right there. We'll do that one more time. Oh, that's nice. All right. So, yes, I did just put a Geissele in. Yes, it is the G2S. A lot of people knock it because it's not the same level of QA really as uh, some of the, the other Geissele triggers, but uh, I really think this is the best deal to be had in triggers. You can get it for a little over a hundred dollars if you shop, <clears throat> shop around. I might have paid a little bit more than I could have, but I, I did. I didn't pay full MSRP. And it's a Geissele. It is undeniably a Geissele. Uh, and it, it feels like it. Really pleased with it. Again, the G2S. I'm going to call it the best, the best value in triggers. Uh, it's, not, it's not the featherweight pull of some of the, uh, the Geissele match triggers or a Timney or something like that. And I don't want that. I, I, I want a little bit of... A little bit of something there. Uh, but it's also not the mil spec trigger that I had that I would liken to pulling a wet sponge over rough sandpaper. There's nothing fighting me on this. It's not internal components grinding. So this is going to be a short video. Just wanted to show you all that I got this and that I'm very pleased with it. We uh, hope to go to the range and shoot this this weekend. do have uh, one other issue I need to work out, but I'll uh, talk about that in a separate video. So G2S, best value in triggers. Half the price or less than some other guys lease. Uh, and... Uh, really it functions like a Geissele even if it's got a, a you know rather than every individual unit coming off the line being MPI you know they magnetic particle inspect a a good portion of them coming off the line and that's the key distinction between this and uh, and Geissele's uh, I forget what its actual moniker is but their, their original mainstay trigger so, once again, thank you all for watching. I'm going to ask you all to do the internet video thing. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Hit that little bell button down there so that you get notified when I, I post these videos. Um, get in the comments. 
Tell me what you think about this trigger. Inevitably, tell me what you like or dislike about the, the rest of the rifle. I'm, I'm, I'm sure this is probably your, your first time seeing the uh, extended mag release that I have here, the Odinworks. Big fan of that as well. Uh, I guess right here you can see the the mag pole pistol grip that I have. Yeah, get in the comments. Tell me what you think. Do y'all like the, the G2S? Do y'all avoid it and just go for the the full uh, f full price Geisley experience? Or do you, uh, you know, maybe not even go that far? Let's go mil spec. If you, if you want mil spec, but you want something made to Geisley standards, the ALG Defense is a great choice. I had the chance to pull one of those triggers a couple times and uh, it pulls with the weight of a mil spec, but with the smoothness of a Geisley. Uh, I think those are very well done as well. And I really almost went that way. I almost got, got one of those, but I did find a, a decent price on this. And, uh, well, impulse purchase. So, once again, tell me what you think down in the comments. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.